that you said that you changed your name to, to K, K Daddy. That's right, K Daddy. <laughs> And what struck me about that was your delivery was perfect. It was deadpan. No, was... I'm serious. That's, there's no delivery. Oh, there. I'm sorry. Oh, that's yeah, this is authentic. It's K Daddy, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Explain. in fact, give me your CD and I'll just scratch that out and write K Daddy on <laughs> there. Do you have a sharpie? My manager said we can sticker the record. No, here. But you know, I'll just fix it here for you right now. K Daddy. <laughs> yeah, my son calls me Poppy, so there you this go. will be even another yeah, layer yeah. of confusion. Daddy, yeah. but I thought I had two mommies. One was called Poppy. All right. <laughs> Cross as someone who's really got their shit together. I find oh, that yeah. hard to believe. Uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> but you do. Your answers are always oh, there's you're, you're searching for balance and you're so thoughtful even when someone asks you a ridiculous question. Um, Please tell me therapy works. That's the answer. No, I don't for. go no. to therapy. Not anymore. No. Mm -mm. No, I stopped. What made you stop? Buddhism. No. So what made you start? Therapy. Buddhism. Buddhism. I found my teacher. Uh -huh. um, but you know what I think it is? I think it's really just being honest with yourself and not trying to be. I know, but it's so, there's so much pressure and noise. Does being content sort of affect your creativity? It does, and, but not in a negative way. It changes your relationship to creativity. Because I think that sometimes creativity, there's this, like, this, this neediness sometimes for the outcome, for the expectation. Mm -hmm. And I think that you eradicate the perfection just by even like projecting an outcome on it. If you just celebrate the fact that you get to be creative, right. it's a totally different ballgame than if you look at it as, as, a, as, as a means to an end, as a vehicle to success. It, right. it, like, it just ruins it. But how do you block out all the, the expectations? Mm -hmm. Are you not waging a war in, in no, yourself? No, I, I, I was. Have you left the realm of suffering? <laughs> When you look at the world and you, you really try to, to see yourself in equanimity with everyone, from the people in Japan to the people in Libya to Obama to Lady Gaga, right. that, that, you know, what we do in our daily life is, is important in how we are interacting and the independence that we, that we cause and affect and the cause and effect of that interdependence, but really what we do is not hugely important. Mm -hmm. It's how we do it. Right. But you know, we're just, just these fragile little beings jumping around on the earth, I don't know. It's true, so how does someone like that, someone who's able to be so unguarded, make their way in the music industry, which like even for an outsider seems ruthless and, and difficult? I've been lucky and I've worked hard. Mm -hmm. Would you at least concede that you're uh, an icon? Would you? Would I'm you a dicon. A dicon, I love because you're also a, a lesbian. Look at you a coining all these. You were the dicon. first, the greatest. <laughs> you, you had, we could draw a line from you to Bieber, just in all the famous <laughs> lesbians. I yeah. There is a uh, website, Top 100 Butches. You're number 31. Does that sound well, right uh, to you? No. Okay. I didn't think so either. Fuck no. Who's number one? Rachel Maddow. Oh, yeah. Well, she's yeah, really famous glasses. right now. I mean, she's famous right now. Yeah. 31 is very, is a big slight. I'm going to have to butch it up. <laughs> Get you? back on top. Could you? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> well, who's butcher? That's, the, that's what we should, we should put a, who's more butch? I think I'm definitely more butch. Thank you so much for, for talking to me. I really appreciate it. This was My great. Pleasure. I'm a, I didn't want to say it before. Huge fan. No, wait. <laughs>